Hey guys, Colin here again, and welcome back to the CSS Hero Academy. In today's lesson, I'm going to give you a quick overview how to start CSS Hero and also the basic functions. So here I am in my admin panel. I'm going to click on my pages and I'm going to choose, for example, home page. And then I'm going to click on view page. There's different ways you can do this. So now I'm actually on the home page and you'll see up in the top right hand corner, there's this little lightning bolt in a, in a blue rectangle box. And if you hover over it, you'll see that it says CSS hero. So that tells us that we've got it installed properly. If I click on it, we'll actually start up the plugin and you'll see that brief intro screen there. Okay. So now we actually have it, but it won't do anything right now as it is. So let's just go over the standard controls over here. So this top one is called our targeting tool. Below we've got this tool to see how the mobile responsive elements work, but also CSS hero changes mobile responsive elements when you select these particular modes. So right now we're in the full screen mode or full wide screen mode of a, a large computer. But if I go to this one, we're going to get the tablet size. As you can see, it shrinks down. And then we've got the mobile size. Now, if I choose to pick an element, uh, which I'm going to show you later on, at this point, CSS Hero will target that as a media query that will only affect the element at the mobile size. So I'm going to go back to the full screen size view for now. The next one we've got is a history. We don't have any history at this point, but once we've actually made some changes, we'll have some history here. We can choose to select different points in the history to go back to. Next one down is a folder icon where we can save some presets so we can actually save points in our changes or points along the way that we can restore later on. And we've got some options to save these to our account automatically, or we can save them locally as well. Uh, next on the list here is the, the tool, the, the hammer and the wrench there. And basically these allow us to reset everything back to the themes default. So eliminate all the CSS hero changes. We can also unclear all our undo history once we've actually got some history. And then we can also show the CSS that CSS Hero generates, and we can technically copy that and put that into our own CSS area if we want to. The next one down is a little heart icon, so you can actually tweet and share and do some social sharing once you love this tool, and I'm sure you'll love it soon. Next one down, it gives you full screen mode, so if I actually put this, we'll go to full screen, as you can see. I'll just exit for that for now. And the last one turns off CSS Hero and puts it back up into that section up there. So that's an overview of the CSS Hero main icons. We're going to go into some of the more technical details shortly when we start getting onto some of the themes. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson. I look forward to seeing you next one. Bye now.